back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னு நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணல மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் back to our channel in this video we are going to solve the today's daily test so this is the question so find time from matrix so this question is quite easier than we think since we must uh, define everything and it will be solved very easily so let me tell you so what the question they have given is we must get a matrix of size 5 cross 17 that is 5 rows and 17 columns representing a grid of leds as the input okay and the matrix consists of zeros and ones where ones indicate that the light is on and zero means that the led is off okay and they have given that matrix represent the time that is hour and minute format and bracket they have given it is 24 hour okay and they have given some kind like that so the columns 1 2 3 represent the first hour the fourth column represent the space between the two hours so the column 5 6 7 represent the second hour and the eighth column represent the space between the second h and the colon so you must check with that so the ninth column represent the colon the tenth column represent the space between the colon and the first m so first m in the sense first minute like that and the columns 11 12 13 represent the first m and the 14th column represents the space between the two m's and the column 15 16 17 represent the second m and finally we must print the time t as the output so you might check with the sample input here so this is the 5 cross 17 matrix you might check there are 17 values in that so in the given matrix the values of hour minute are 2 and 35 respectively so it gets printed so it is a you might get here the below five line represent the digit 0 you can check that and this represent 1 and this represents 2 like that they have given most of the conditions to which the value numbers are assigned so uh, if these values are come then it is uh, equal to 0 like that we are going to assign in our code and we will do it very easily okay so initially i am going to create a function name get digit okay get digit from matrix like that and inside the values are the matrix and the start call like that okay these are the two values which i am going to use and now we must map the digit patterns to their respective numbers so for that uh just creating the variable uh digit patterns is equal to in a dict like that and inside this values or the first value that is 1 comma 1 comma 1 and 1 0 1 and comma then another 1 0 1 since the values are given here so just i am using that and another 1 0 1 then comma 1 1 1 1 so if these values occur then it will be equal to 0 yeah we know that so just i am using like that and now the second value so for the first number 1 that is 0 0 1 the second also 0 0 1 for the third one that is also 0 0 1 the fourth value that is also 0 0 1 1 and the last value which is also 0 0 1 okay if these values get occur then it will be equal to 1 so the condition is everything are given here now we are similarly we must you give this for digital 9 okay now we are going to give for the digit uh 2 yeah so the values are 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma then 0 0 comma then 1 1 1 comma then 1 0 0 then comma 1 1 1 so this is the for my value for the second one so just naming it 2 then comma then for the number 3 so we are going to give for number 3 okay so the values are 1 1 1 comma and 0 0 1 comma and okay let me check it here so i'm getting confusion then Then one one one, comma 
zero zero one comma one 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 so these are the values for number three so just mentioning it as three then comma and for the fourth value it is one zero one comma and another one zero one comma and one 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 comma zero zero one comma and another zero zero one so if these values get occur it is equal to number four and now for the number five which is one 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 comma and one zero zero comma and one 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 comma and zero zero one comma and one 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 so if these values get occur then it will be equal to comma five then number six so let me save the code once again so for the number six mm, we must go down one 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 and comma okay, check the one zero zero comma one 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 comma one zero one comma one 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 okay if this value gets occurred it will be equal to number six okay and just two more values we are going to do for the number seven it is one 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 comma and zero zero one comma zero zero one comma and zero zero one comma and another zero zero one okay this value get occurs it will be equal to number seven and for the number eight it is one 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 comma one zero one comma one 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 comma one zero one comma one 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 so if this value get occurs it will be equal to number eight and the last ninth line so there is one 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 comma one zero one comma one 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 comma zero zero one comma one 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 so if these value gets occurred it's equal to number nine here okay just using the comma here and coming out of this so let me save this one okay now we must extract the pattern for the digit from the matrix so for that i am creating a variable pattern uh, pattern is equal to tuple of row and the start colon value start col is to start col plus three okay and here for for row in matrix okay like that just i'm keeping so tuple of row start call it will start from the start column till the start column plus three and for row in matrix okay and now we must return the corresponding digit as a string so for that i'm just using return uh digit patterns okay digit patterns dot get pattern comma a string like that here okay and now we are going to create a main function here so def main must get the input from the user so matrix is equal to input dot strip and here for underscore in range of five okay and now we must extract the digits from the matrix so for that the first h is equal to get a digit from the matrix of matrix comma zero okay and similarly the second h be equal to get digit uh, from matrix of the matrix comma four and the first m okay the first m is equal to get digit from matrix of the matrix comma ten year okay and similarly the second m is equal to get digit from matrix of matrix comma 14 
and now we must combine the extracted digits to form a time so for that the variable we equal to time is equal to and here the first h value will be here and the second h second h value will be here is to the first m and the second m here okay so it will come like that and now we must print the time here and at last if name equals main then just calling the main function here so now let us run the code and check for the output and yeah you can see that our code has been successfully passed without getting any single error and if this video finds useful please do like share subscribe for more videos and i will see in the next video thank you for watching